Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at my everyday carry planner that I will be using for 2021. And if you want to check out and see how I have it all set up, please stay tuned. All right, guys. So today I am going to be showing you my Pocket Versa in Pebbled Pink. Um, this is a Moterm planner and I've been one of these for so long and I got a gift card for my birthday. So I ended up going on the um, Amazon. These are usually not in stock on Amazon. So once they put them up there, they go fast. So I looked on there and they had the one that I wanted. So I went ahead and grabbed it. I will put the link to the Moterm Pocket Versa on um, the description box below, but just um, just a disclaimer, sometimes when you do go click on it, they are out of stock and not available because people grab them really, really quick because the other place you can get it is AliExpress and it takes a little longer for it to get to you. So a lot of people try to take advantage of the Amazon Prime on Amazon to get it like in two days and I did get it in two days. All right, so first thing, this is a little small planner. So we are going to um, just measure it because I'm just going to show you because um, you guys know I like measuring stuff and showing you the size of it. So this right here is the size of it closed width. And then for the height, this is the size of it. And then if we open it up, this is the size of it there. And I try to get a closer up video for you guys because on the last time i was trying to do a flip through and you guys were like uh tina i can't see anything on there so i'm trying to get a little bit better with these little small planners all right so um these you can adjust the sizes of how um you want to snap your planner clothes all right so let's go ahead and open the inside so for the inside you do have a flap here and this flap opens up to a zipper pocket and then you have a kind of like a fold out pocket here so in here i just have nothing because um i still um, haven't figured out what i'm going to put in here all right so this little charm right here i got this from hobby lobby on clearance it was like some other little charms in there but i thought the little lips were cute and the color kind of went with my little theme that i have and just a disclaimer guys i don't have a lot of decor in here so it's not like decked out if that's what you came to see um i just wanted to make mine a little bit more functional and a little bit minimalist but you can still functionally plan if you have decor you just have to you know have you know how to do it but me i just go i just go all out and then i'm like what did i do so in these pockets here i have page flags and this is from cloth and paper this is the cashmere color here and then and there's three pockets and then i have the cotton page flag and this is so cute and this is from cloth and paper also and i love that these do fit inside of the little pockets in here so in here i just have a little joanne's coupon um, and nothing serious, okay? And then here I just have a few stickers in here, just some mail stickers, some no spin stickers, some mini bill do stickers, um, some little potty stickers because my son is trying to learn to potty train and I don't know, little boys are hard to potty train, I feel like. Little um, YouTube stickers and then I have mini cash stuffing stickers, um, coffee stickers and little um, coffee is base stickers that I made. <laughs> all right so let's put those back in there so this is like a pen holder right here but i don't have a pen to put because if i did i would not be able to close my planner at all because it is so thick and then i just have the two little poppers to close the flap right here so which i seriously like so next i have this little ollie clip it's um like a collab with cloth and paper and um it is like super cute and um it's very very strong all right so getting inside of this planner um i do have the 30 mm rose gold rings and i did get these from amazon and i will link them in the description box for you like i said when you see this stuff guys you have to get it because it goes pretty fast and this is sold from um moterm and um so it did come with 19 mm rings, but as you can see, I need it more. So this right here is my task cards and routine cards. And this is from Hey Planner Girl Prints on Etsy. So um, you can edit these and then I just printed out some clear stickers and just um, put stickers on here. So when I need to change something, I can just pop it up and then I can just stick another sticker. So my total goals, I just have managed budget, eat better, YouTube schedule on track with cleaning and planning, planner, planning, planner commitment. 
And then I have for my morning routine, I just have things that I want to make sure I do in the morning. Um, this does help me like so I'm not like scatterbrained all over the place. And this is my night routine here that I have on this card. All right. And then a next, um, this is just a freebie that I got. I got some sanitizer on there. I was like, man. But um, this is just from cloth and paper an order that I had got a while back. And I just rounded the corners and cut her down a little bit. And then I just keep it right there because I thought it was cute. All right. So this right here is a little dashboard that I got off Etsy. I just laminated it. And this is from the Delightful Unicorn. And it, this is super cute. And I had messaged her because she only did it for her personal. She did custom it to make sure that it fit my pocket planner. And I just think it's like the cutest thing. And this is just Bellium here that I have. I got this from Hobby Lobby, so I just put it on the back and then I just laminated it. This right here is my table of contents. And this table of contents came from the same place that I got my task cards, routine cards. Um, this is from Hey Planner Girl Prints. And this is just to show everything that's in my planner. And some of it is out of order because I was kind of flipping things around. So I was like... Let me move this here, move this here. So I probably will update this, but um, this um, is very, very helpful because it lets me see exactly what I have in here and it helps keep it organized. All right, so the next thing that I have um, is just a little um, third dashboard that I made. I got a picture, I got to put another picture of, in here of my son. I took it out, but it's just a dashboard I can just put cute things in. And then this is just a um, card from cloth and paper a journaling card and then I just put cutie pie up there because my son's picture usually goes in there but I gotta put a new one in there all right and this is just valium paper that I got from Hobby Lobby I just put that in there because I liked it <laughs> all right so this is just valium and it has inbox and I just laminated this and I don't I don't know I just cut it halfway I thought it was cute all right so then um the Dividers, I got these from cloth and paper. These, I keep going back and looking to see if they have more. They do not have any more. I don't even see it as an option and where you can click on it and say that it's not available. So I don't know if they're going to be making any more of the blush dividers, but I did get these, the side tabs, and I was able to get the top tab. So I was like super excited. And then um, these are just um, clear sticker tab labels that I made. This right here is from Row Road Designs and I hope I'm saying it correctly. Um, this is a printable that I got off of her Etsy shop and I did like that. So I'm going to try this to see how this works for me for my inbox. Next I have um, notes and I just have some fly leaf note paper. This came with the um, planner. So this is just some fly leaf paper that I got and I just write notes on it when I need to. This right here is from cloth and paper and I did cut slits in here so it makes it easier for it to pop out. So this is a checklist that I actually printed on this paper actually from a sticky note from cloth and paper. This is a Peanuts and Planner Co. Um, download and what I did is where you can print out the sticky notes page template and then you can stick the sticky notes on there. So that's what I did with the cloth and paper and then I just cut it down to size it so that it fits in my pocket planner because these don't fit in there they're a little bit bigger but um I didn't want to waste this so I just ended up doing that so um that worked out perfectly and then that way I can have it on my today dashboard um to do checklists and I can just look here really quick and then this sheet here is just a inspired by Hobonichi and this is from Railroad Designs off her Etsy shop um, and then this is just where I can write down different things of goals that I have to do that I want to do for the month, for the year, for two or three months. It all depends. All right. So I just have a few sheets in there and then I have a list section. And then this right here, these are just from Peanuts Planner Co. These are just blank um, checklists and I do use these a lot. These are um, freebies and you can grab these if you are in her planner group on Facebook. So she has like a lot of things that you can um, download and they're free. So it's really cool. So I do have like a wish list of things that I want to get. As you can see from last year, some of the things I already got, but I didn't take that out. I want to keep it in here because I want to see. Um, I just want to keep a record of the things that um, I wanted and then I was able to actually get because that's pretty exciting. All right, so next we have in here, I have a reading list of books that I want to read, and I didn't fell off the bandwagon with that, so I need to um, 
get back on my reading list. This is just some books that I read. Okay, and this is just movies that I want to watch. And then I pretty much watch the ones that I wanted to. And then this is just some extra, extra checklist pages. And then next I have calendar. And then this is a year at a glance calendar. And this is from Railroad Designs Etsy shop. And um, also I have important dates for 2021 where I can write different important dates in there. So that is, um, this came with this PDF. So this and this was included together. Next, I have my monthly section, and this is like super cute. I love this little um, monthly planner. This is from Simple Trendy Co. And this right here, I just use as um, monthly challenges. So I do no soda, which I'm trying not to drink soda because that is hard. Soda, whew, soda will have you addicted to drinking it like all day, every day, any day. So um, I'm trying to do this one for the month of January. So I just put a little check mark if I do. Um, fail and I do end up drinking soda. I'll just put an X there. All right. And then I have another challenge on the back. And this is a vitamin challenge because I want to make sure um, I want to take my vitamins every day. So, so far, so good. I've been doing awesome. All right. So next, this is just a little dashboard that I was just playing with and I just made a bow with it. And then these little um, inserts right here. I love these monthlies. These little monthlies are from PT Paper Printables on Etsy. The thing I like about these is that the months are separate there by themselves. So, so basically, if I am done with January and I want to take that out, I am good to go with starting fresh with February. Because usually when you do monthlies, they're always like this. And then when you flip over, they're on the next page. But this right here, you can just take this out and it does not bother your next month. So that's the thing that I loved about this monthly and I had this um last year too so it's like like the perfect idea so these are just my monthly calendars and I do like that she does have the holidays in there so that is awesome all right so and then I do have it all the way until December and I printed the back upside down so that's why you see this little squiggly mark so I just whited that out because I didn't want to waste all that paper. So next, um, we have dailies and these and all right. And then this is just a little um, laminated sheet that I just put page flags on there. And then these are my daily sheets that I use. I love dailies. I've tried the weeklies, but I don't it's kind of hard when I I don't know. I just I'm, I guess I'm just like a daily person. So these are from Simply Trendy Co. And um, these are like the cutest little daily inserts ever. And I just write on here. And I'm going to tell you something, guys. I know when you think about a pocket planner and you're just like, um, pocket planner is small. That was my problem when I first started. I was like, I got to write tiny. I got to try to make my handwriting look like this. When you get your planner, I'm just going to tell you, and this made a whole difference in, um, planning in this thing and it made it a little bit more functional mentally for me um I just wrote big I just wrote how I normally write and I can write my stuff that I need to write and I'm not like like just focus on writing tiny and writing a certain way so I just write whatever however I want to write and I think that's what you should do and that way you can because I think sometimes that's where it gets stressful is that you're like oh my god I gotta write tiny I gotta write this slant slanted ways just write just write in your planner and then you will see that it actually really works so i just been writing like kind of bubbled and it it does the job so um so this is just the inserts and i have some already dated but this is what it looks like without me writing all on it so you have your schedule priorities and this does goes to 12 o'clock which i love and it starts at six so that's awesome then you have your checklist and then you have your priorities and then you can do your date so i do have a Quite a few in here next is my appointment tab and then this is from peanuts planner co and i just write my appointments on there and then check them off when they are completed and this is like a little this is super cute i love her i've had her for a while this is like a little planner doll from plan with katrina um she's on instagram and um yeah i just lam i have laminated this thing like a thousand times so <laughs> It's like super thick and heavy. All right, so this right here is just a little um, page. I guess it's like a little small page protector. Um, but I just keep my appointment cards in here. So I just throw them in here. 
even though I do have them written in here, I do put it in here just in case if somehow I have was rushing and I wrote the wrong day because, you know, if you miss your doctor's appointment, they charge you $25. So I just want to make sure. So I just keep her in here. And then next we have contacts. And then um, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is just the address list. So I like how the boxes are free. So you can write whatever you want to write. You can do the name and do whatever um, under here and then you know you can kind of set it up how you want to all right so next i have side hustle which is my youtube and etsy shop so i know i have like a lot of tabs in here but i like mine's how i function is i like detail i like mine's broken down so i have to see it like that so that's why there is like a thousand tabs in here but it works for me i know sometimes some people just have like a one tab and it'll be just like everything they need and they can just flip through but this is just how i have to do it and it works for me so next I have my YouTube section and this is from peanuts planner co this right here is what I kind of brainstorm on a monthly basis for my videos this does not mean that I have to exactly do like this I have to exactly do a budget setup monthly this day I have to do it or here I have to do a paycheck budget this is just so that when I look at here I can just kind of get an idea of what my week may look like and I won't get stressed out okay what do I need to do this is like a reference page so I can just look and I was like oh okay I'm just going to do you know a cash envelope stuff in today that seems like it'll you know I already have it like kind of planned out so these are and I do have these printed on 110 pound paper because I know I'll probably be using this a lot more than the other pages this right here is a YouTube channel planner. I love this little thing. It's so useful. And this is from Prestine Papery. And I love this little thing. So I do have that and I do use this to plan like my YouTube videos. And if um, I do need a little bit more space, I do use this content planner here. And this is from Peanuts Planner Co. So I can just kind of, you know, continue it on here if I need to, um, you know, write, jot down a little bit more notes there. Next, I have my Etsy tab. My Etsy tab is basically like my, what I do for my shop and everything that I need to do. Um, so um, this is from Peanuts Planner Co. This is a freebie. Um, so like I said, if you haven't joined the group, you need to go ahead and join the group because this is um, a way to get some cool inserts and you can just try them out. And another tip, guys, for the Peanuts Planner Co. I know um, I have brought an agenda 52 hole punch and it was hole punching the peanuts planner co inserts all the way over here so let me show you guys something real quick so i did print it out a peanuts and planner co um, insert here so i'm going to scoot this over here and this is i don't know if you guys got this this one i got at hobby lobby i got it because i could use my coupon i i did do a little um i guess alter trick to it so that it won't um punch all the way into where it which is printed so um because number one i didn't want to get a new one because i just paid for this one but i used my coupon but still but um so don't throw this away what i did is i put elastic inside i don't think you can actually see it but it's where it where the paper goes in the elastic is in there so i didn't have thick elastic so i had to do it a couple times so i put it in there so what it does is it makes it so that the paper doesn't go all the way in there. And you can always um, cut these out if you want to take it out or if you want to adjust it. So um, the Peanuts Planner Co. inserts, I just insert it there. Because you know guys, I always like to show you some little tricks. And don't push it hard in there. And then um, we put it there. And then let's go ahead and punch it. All right, so ta-da! So that's how i have been punching these with this hole puncher even though it does look kind of weird because all of the elastic that's in here i just used elastic this punches it so that it's not over the printed area on your little um, pdf so this is a trick a way guys that you can use this thing and don't have to worry about buying another one and don't waste your money and just letting it sit on your craft card or your craft table so I got y'all. I got you. <laughs> I got you. All right. So let's get back to the planner here. All right. So this right here is just an insert that I use um, for my planner shop. And um, 
my YouTube shop and I just write things that I need to do goals this week, YouTube videos, and then daily tracker and stuff like that. I use these boxes sometimes, but I don't use it all the time. So that's it. And then this is just some extra sheets. And then this sheets here are the sticker orders that I make. So I just basically write it on the checklist. I told you yes, guys, I, I use this sheet here a lot and this is a freebie all peanuts planner co so you can deck your planner out and not have to you know be pricey with it but it's up to you all right so um next i do have some extra sheets in here next is a um a monthly a yearly i think it's a yearly tracker um and this is just goes for monthly so this has all of the days and like this has the 31st this has the 28 you do have an option to print out the leap year one but i just printed out the regular one so this is a fold out from peanuts planner co this is off the freebie site also so like i said she has a lot of freebies and you can use it this right here is what i'm going to use for tracking my sales daily and um this goes to june here and then it continues july and then september and then we have the october november december so it's basically like three and and this is what i was using but um, i like this better because the boxes are a little bit bigger um for writing my sales down but um this is a lot better because i went on there and i was like let me see if i can find something else on there all right so the next thing i have is as you guys know i have a budget section so i have um a checklist again that has to buy um, so these are just things that I need to just grab at the store. So this here, um, I do have a calendar up here, but I did put one back here for my budget so that I'll know, like, I'll do my cash stuffing, paydays. Um, so I can just kind of look and see, like, real quick with my, you know, paying my bills and stuff like that. So I like to have all that stuff ready. All right. And this is from um, Simple Trendy Co. And this is the same one that I had up front. This is a yearly bill tracker. This is so cute. I love this. This is from Penis Planner Co. And I don't mind showing you guys my bills because guess what? I have a budget channel. So I am pretty much okay showing you guys my bills. So um, these are my bills that I have. Um, and I got some ink on there. And then it continues on the back. And then I did use the thick paper on here because I will probably be handling this a little bit more. So that's why I went ahead and printed on the thick paper. This right here is a purchase and spending tracker. And this is also for Prestine Papery. And I do use a Happy Notes um, micro notes in my purse to track my um, spending. But this is just in case if I don't have that with me and I just have my planner, um, I can just basically... Um, jot it down here and then transfer it there so i just have that handy and then this is just a payment tracker that i use to pay off debt this is just a small one that i keep in here next i have a home section and then it just has um, chores and this is just a cleaning routine um dashboard and i got this from not mad about it it's teeny but i can read it and it's super cute i don't know if you guys can read it but um, it's a little printable and it reminds you like of cleaning. And if you don't know what you might want to do, you can just look on here daily, weekly, monthly, totally yearly and as needed. So it's been a good little help to me. All right. So next, um, and I just laminated that. So this is just a today um, ruler that I just put inside here. So sometimes I'll stick it back here. So it all depends how I'm feeling. All right, so then I have cleaning checklists and these, I love these. And then you have daily cleaning habits. And this right here is from Peanuts Planner Co. And this is on her website. Um, so I do have a few of these. I try to keep like enough for the whole month. And then I have meals section and then this is my meal plan. And then I also have a to buy sticky note that I did the same thing that I did with the to do checklist. And then I have a weekly menu sheets that I got off of Peanuts Planner Co. website. And then I just have this Filofax card holder. I did have my task cards in there, but when I kind of rearranged my planner, um, I kind of just decided to put these little um, stickers. And these are from Cloth and Paper. These were freebies that I got. I got like a whole bunch of them. These are like squares. I got like drops. I got like tape dots. And these are like backwards. Whoops. All right, and then I got like hexagons, I got like blank tabs, and then I got like corners. So I got like a whole bunch of little ones to try. These are like super cute. So let me stick that back in there. So I just put those in there. 
So, all right, so this right here is the fly leaf, and I keep it in there just for the pen loose, so I don't really have anything in these three card slots. And the pen that I do keep in there is a Dr. Grip gel pen. It's palette, and it is 0 0.7 um, point. All right, so next I have just a um, zipper envelope pouch, and I just keep some stamps in it because you never know when you might need some stamps. And then in the back here is just like my Sticky Notes dashboard. That's all I keep in here. So I just have some little sticky notes. Then I have like some little um, multicolor sticky notes. These are from cloth and paper. These are the memo ones. And these are the ones I cut these down also so that they do fit inside of um, my planner if needed. So these are already sized. All right. And then I have the to do checklist and then I have the to buy. And then I just have the um, file folder sticky notes from cloth and paper. And this right here, just for you guys who don't know what a pocket verse is, this actually comes out. So this is like, I told you, this is like a super cool planner. So my tabs do come out a little bit over here. So I do have some overhang, but I probably won't never um, just carry it by itself. So I'll probably just keep it in here. But if you do, you know, if you have bigger tabs than what I have, you can just put it in as much you know, you don't have to put it, push it all the way to the edge here. You can just kind of leave it a little bit there. And, and then you can just close it and then just basically snap it like that. So that makes it a lot easier. And then I just have a pocket up here that I have some stickers in there. These are dew drops from cloth and paper. And then um, I have some other little stickers and just my ruler. And like I said, this leather is like so buttery. It's like so soft. So I like love this planner so much and then it fits inside of my um gray sydney fossil satchel so um that is why i love this little that is why i love this little planner all right guys so you have seen my everyday carry for everything that i use for my pocket versa planner so let me know guys if you do have this pocket versa planner or let me know what you use as your everyday carry in the comments because i would really love to know so thank you guys so much for checking out my video and then sticking with me and i will be back with more videos so and like i always say guys until next time peace